kind of performance in the normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking uh, probably in. I don't know what that is there. B probably B one. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, as you can see, the 4440 and the loader and everything are gone. Uh, I'm videoing this after all of the other clips you're gonna see next because I was gonna kind of put the two videos together, but I think I'm gonna keep the 4440 separate from the other one here. So, um, yeah, things might not flow quite right because there's some videos that dad made along with the clips that I made. So, this is your intro. And then everything else you see is already over with, if that makes sense. Whatever. Watch, enjoy, look at the shiny green tractor. Talk to you in a bit. So, Dad painted the loader and he made some videos, so I'm going to put that right now. Hey guys, how's she going today? Ha ha ha. Nope, uh, this ain't so sass farmer, that's for sure. But he's on a road trip with uh, straight pipes right now, so I'll do a little videoing for you. Got the loader prep for paint yeah she's ready for paint for that 4440 that we just finished up do a little of this stuff for your so sauce farmer so he can uh, keep you updated on his videos I guess cylinders are off hoses are off we'll make some new ones there you like that old hyphen hyphen the video man so we're gonna bring it in now and put that loader on. So I need both hands here to open this. I'll bring you back in a second. Ain't that pretty. Shane, you should bring one of yours up here and we'll do it up. Other than decals on the loader, but they're not done yet, so. Tomorrow in the daylight, we'll take a better look at it. Nice! Fuck that. Glad to see that that's done. <laughs> anyway, look how those lights light thing up, things up. Isn't that nice? I guess. That's where I'm going to leave you guys till tomorrow morning. And look at that, and look at this, and look at something else probably. <laughs> well, it's a few days later again, and I don't know. I uh, This video has just kind of been 
pieced together because it's been going on at the same time as other stuff but <laughs> always kind of like going all around it here after and show everything that we did it's leaving here in a few minutes so we'll uh we'll do our quick walk around her here and take a look at everything uh stickers aren't on the loader yet uh still waiting for them here's the homemade joystick setup cables that go up into the cab and the uh, valve body and then we made this quick coupler set up here so that you can uh, undo all your hoses and still have these spools here and then if a guy had a blade or something else too to put on here or whatever you've uh, essentially got two more remotes on this tractor now so it's got four instead of just the two from the factory now new led lights all around it this is the plug-in for uh bale picker, baler, whatever else that has lights on it, the warning lights and what have you. We made them this handle here for running this remote because before they had a rope up into the cab for running their hydraulic swing on their big auger. Uh, new paint obviously. All over the old girl. Uh, converted to two 12 volt batteries instead of six. All new 50 or, oh yeah, new steps. All new 50, 55 series uh, cab kit, including buddy seat. And we went from uh, black to the brindle brown in here. Um, fixed all of the wiring in the dash because it was just cooked if you remember packed full of dirt and all corroded off uh, all new decals in the cab updated vents uh new radio and speakers uh yeah i mean here's the joystick works pretty mint you've seen that in all my other tractors too so um yeah i'm real happy with how it turned out uh put the wrap on the dash here and the uh, cup holders, you can get them from John Deere. That's where you get them from, if anyone else is wondering. Uh, new cushions, because the old ones were fucked. And uh, yeah, all new filters. And we put a set of bottom end bearings in it. We rolled some bearings into her. It's got uh, just shy of 9,000 hours on this tractor. I believe it's 8,800. It's a fairly low hour tractor, but putting bearings in gives you a good idea of what kind of, how the rest of your motor looks and the bearings that came out of it were real good, but for $500 it costs to put new bearings in and the few hours it takes, I always like to do that. Then you know what you got that way, so. But yeah, I'm uh, really happy with how this one turned out, so. We'll be going over to their place to put those decals on when they show up sometime in the near future. Other than that, I'll bring you back when they're driving her out of the yard. So, talk to you in a few. What do you think? Fucking Rest. never coming back again? No, it was a rip off. <laughs> Look at that, just driving off into the sunset there. He's probably just stroking it, he's so happy <laughs> in there. <laughs>